So let's suppose that a person gets inside a Ferris wheel and the Ferris wheel begins to rotate with a constant speed. So that means our person inside the Ferris wheel is undergoing uniform circular motion. So we want to find the frequency it would take for a person inside the Ferris wheel to feel weightless at the top of the arc. So let's make the assumption our radius of the Ferris wheel is 20 meters. So here we have the person at the top. So we have at the top cabin. We zoom in on that cabin and we find the following picture. So two forces are acting on the person at the moment on the top of the Ferris wheel. We have the force of gravity that's pulling downward on the person and we have the normal force created by the bottom of the cabin that's acting on the person. So if a person is standing on a scale, we want to figure out what our frequency should be so that the scale reads zero. Remember, what the scale actually reads is the normal force created by the uh, ground, by the bottom of the cabin, on the person. So, we're essentially summing up all the vector forces along our y-axis and then we set the normal force equal to zero. So, let's choose downward to be positive and upward to be negative. We choose downward to be positive because our centripetal acceleration is in the same direction as our gravitational force. So the gravitational force minus the normal force is equal to mass times our centripetal acceleration, which is equal to mass times v squared divided by r because our radial acceleration is equal to v squared divided by r. So let's rearrange our equation and solve for the normal force. We get the following equation and now we set this equal to zero. Why? Well, because zero normal force means the ground will not exert a force and you will feel weightless. So we set this equal to zero and we rearrange and solve for the velocity. So notice the mass is canceled and we're left with the velocity is equal to the square root of our gravitational constant g multiplied by our radius r. So we plug in our values and we find a velocity of 14 meters per second. So our person has a velocity at the top of our arc of 14 meters per second. That points in the positive direction along the x-axis. So now let's recall what the relationship is between velocity and frequency. So velocity is equal to the circumference of our circle multiplied by the frequency. So we can solve for frequency and we get the frequency is equal to velocity divided by 2 pi r, our circumference. So we found in this part that our velocity is 14 meters per second. Divide that by 2 times pi times radius of 20 meters and we get the following frequency. So 0.11 revolutions per second. But we're asked to find the frequency in revolutions per minute. So that means we need to do a simple conversion. So 0.11 revs per second multiplied by 60 seconds in a minute. The seconds cancel and we're left with approximately 6.6 .6 revolutions per minute. So our frequency of this much will ensure that our normal force at the top of our Ferris wheel, at the top of the arc, reads zero.